Welcome, distinguished viewers, to Animal World, our co-inhabitants. On today's program, we'll revisit Edgar's mission, an inspiring refuge for abandoned and abused farm animals in Victoria, Australia. The sanctuary is named after Edgar Allen, a unique pig who had his first photo taken in the arms of Oscar nominator actor James Cromwell, who starred in the 1995 Academy Award winning film Babe, about a young pig learning to be a sheep herder. Edgar's Mission is a not-for-profit organisation that works toward a more compassionate world for both humans and animals. Besides caring for many of our fellow beings at the sanctuary, founder Pam Ahern, who follows a vegan animal-free diet, also strives to spread compassion through outreach programs. Edgar and other caring ambassadors travel to markets, schools and other locations to spread love and kindness to humans and share their amazing stories of survival from horrific factory farms. The objective is to elevate humans' hearts and help them view our co-inhabitants with love and respect, thus helping to permanently end animal cruelty. For her selfless efforts, Pam Ahern received Supreme Master Ching Hai's Shining World Compassion Award. The award presentation will be featured tomorrow on part two of this program. Now let's find out what Pam and Edgar are up to and meet some of their beautiful friends. This is the famous Edgar Allan Pig himself. He's just celebrated his sixth birthday, which is pretty amazing for a farm pig because generally they'd only get to live to six months. So he's done a lot for a pig. And, and he had a big party here. He did. He made the Herald Sun again with his um, wonderful picture and just lets people know what truly wonderful animals pigs really are. We asked Pam Ahern about how Edgar keeps fresh and neat. <laughs> well, he doesn't really need washing that much these days because pigs are incredibly clean. Hello. Apart from the fact they love to get in the mud, the other thing that they'll do is when they are covered in mud, when they go in their bed at night in their straw bed, they'll roll around and that will actually cleanse them and also give them a bit of a dermabrasion at the same time. So they're, they're quite a clever animal. As you can see, he has beautiful skin. So in the winter, does he sit out here or does he stay more in the barn? Oh, in the barn, yep, yeah, cuddled up in his straw bed. He has two houses, he has his nighttime house and his daytime house. Edgar's mission lies on 25 lush, green, peaceful hectares and houses over 150 rescued animals. Let's now meet some more of the sanctuary's gentle residents. We've got Leitfer. Hello Leitfer darling, this is Leitfer, Leitfer was named Leitfer because I decided to rescue a bobby calf one day and um, when I got to the market I was late, there was uh, construction works on the way and I got there and they were just doing the last pen and she was the last one to be sold so we called her Leitfer because I was late for the market, certainly wasn't too late for little girl. And this is Rosa, dear Rosa, and McKaylee, this one here is McKaylee, she's a Hereford, here is Tippy. hey Tippy. Tippy was the first bobby calf that we rescued, and she's called Tippy because she has a little white tip on her tail. And this one here is Shirley, hi Shirley, hello Dally. Girls. Alifa. Hello. Hello, darling. Hello. Hey Cheryl, what you got there? Hey? Oh, bit of bread. Yum yum. Oh, here you go. Yum yum. Good girl. Hi Rosa. Oh. Here you go. Oh, you want a bit there? There you go, Alifa. Good girl. Good girl. In February 2009, 
Southern Australia, including the state of Victoria, experienced some of the most severe bushfires in the region's history, causing untold suffering for countless animals and leaving many without a place to live. Pam, I understand you've got quite a few of the animals from the bushfires coming in now. Yes, originally uh, our involvement with the bushfires was just the rescue of wildlife and feeding programs for native animals, but now we're actually finding that things have settled down and animals are starting to emerge that have taken refuge in the bush, uh, particularly with the farm animals, the goats and the baby deer, um, and now the sheep that are just coming out and, you know, fences have been lost and tragically lives have been lost and we're finding that these animals are now homeless. So that's where Edgar's mission will be stepping in there and a huge effort will be taking these animals in and providing them with lifelong care so our involvement in the bushfires continues. We will return after these messages with more of our interview with Pam Ahern, founder of Edgar's Mission. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. The problem that happens with, with pigs in intensive confinement facilities is the same as humans. When you keep large numbers of humans in a small area, they're stressed and stress lowers immune systems opens the way for disease which can spread rapidly. Welcome back to Animal World Our Co-Inhabitants featuring Edgar's mission a safe haven for farm animals in Victoria, Australia, founded by Pam Ahern. All the residents have fed the loving vegan diet. Let's now meet another of the sanctuary's wonderful residents. What's this little one's name? This is Rosemary. She came in a few days ago from the pound. She was found wandering around Clombenane, which was one of the areas severely affected by fires uh, in those horrible bushfires in February. And she's a really, really friendly sheep. The rangers felt that she was such a dear little girl and they wanted to save her life and that's why she's come to Edgar's mission. Okay. Hey, Rosemary. Hello, Rosemary. She loves sweet bigs. <laughs> Miss Ahern and the mission's ambassadors regularly visit schools, markets and stalls around the state of Victoria, giving people a chance to meet the adorable animals and get to know them as the beautiful beings they are. During these visits, Miss Ahern also shares the ambassadors' touching stories. So Pam, what are you doing now? Timmy's going to be an ambassador today. He's getting all ready to go and show the people what truly remarkable animal sheep really are and get them thinking about what their lives are like rather than thinking about them only when their lives are over. Okay. Goodbye, Tim. So you're going to put him in the car now? Yes, we're going to head off now and uh, do some of our work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Timmy's on board and now it's time to get Hope the Piglet and then we'll be hitting the road with our ambassadors. Great. This is Hope and she really is giving hope to all the pigs. Uh, she has a wonderful story. She escaped from a pig farm herself, so she's a very clever pig. And this is her way of helping the not so lucky pigs who can't escape from pigs farms. So the wash today is to sort of brighten her up a bit to meet all the people? Yeah, well she's been out in the paddock playing with her little friend Moniki. They love to get in the mud and play. They are really playful, cheeky and get up to all sorts of mischief. So we're just giving a bit of a spruce up so she'll look her best. And um, what, what's that she's eating there, Pam? That's um, some rice bran. Okay. And 
but uh, she loves that. She likes most food. <laughs> Being a factory farm pig, she's been bred for a uh, quick growth rate. Um, being a female, she could also end up in a sow stall, the horrible metal crate. So she was pretty smart escaping from that pig farm. Courageous Hope is an essential part of the Ambassadors Program's efforts to reach the public with her love for life, an amazing story of bravery. So tell us what you're doing with her as far as giving, you know, getting the information out there. Is there a big future for her? in that area? There's an enormous potential for hope to touch the hearts of literally millions of people by showing them what pigs are really like, by giving them a chance to actually see a pig. Most people's only contact with a pig is a styrofoam package in a supermarket of pork, ham and bacon. And they never really think about what the animal's life is like before it gets there and how their choices that they make in their life cause pigs to live quite miserable sad lives and short lives as well. We love our cats and dogs, we care deeply about them and we never want them to suffer, yet these creatures are just as emotional. Their capacity to suffer is the same, their capacity for happiness is the same and they have wants and needs, which we don't think about. So hope reminds people of all these very important things. And I also think when we open our hearts to animals and we are more compassionate and kind to these creatures that we share the planet with, we are better human beings as well. Pigs are truly remarkable animals, being clever, quick, and extremely loving and friendly. Pigs are incredibly intelligent animals. Pigs' ability to problem solve is just absolutely incredible. It's actually one of the things that I learned at Edgar's mission with um, so many animals here, that it gives me an opportunity to learn about them and their intelligence. We thank Pam Ahern and the wonderful volunteers and ambassadors of Edgar's Mission for their outstanding efforts to reach out to the public and help create a more compassionate world. Please join us tomorrow for part two of this program on Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants, where Pam Ahern is presented with the Shining World Compassion Award. Thank you for joining us today. Up next is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news. May your life be filled with joy and blessings. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash aw.